comes. Hey, I came down to the Indiana Gold Prospectus final outing for the year. I got down here yesterday, I got set up. It kind of started raining last night, so I didn't really do any water yesterday. I didn't get no water. But it got cold last night. It got down to about 34. So it's probably a little afternoon now, and I'm going to go out here and at least get in the water for a few hours a day. Hopefully tomorrow, Sunday, I'll be able to get into the uh, to the water for a few more hours. So at least it'll be a decent weekend. So I'll show you guys what else is going on a little later. Okay, guys, here's a new piece of equipment that's just been kind of experimenting with and. Hopefully you can get out here on the market fairly soon. We'll see. This is the guy who's made it. <laughs> What's up, guys? Yeah. It's a nice little box. Super. What, what goes in? What, is that the carpet goes in the bottom? Yeah. I put the carpet in there. And then you got mm. some expanded metal. Yeah. I'm going to change this out and probably get some rib, the rays. Oh, it's not rays. It's just no. the flat stuff. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the ray stuff will probably work out better for you. But yeah, that's that's it, a neat little box though. I like that. This one is I used my 3D printer for it. Just oh, did you? I did the design on CAD programming and then took it to my 3D printer and had to print it in pieces and glue it together and painted it. And this is just the tester. What uh, what size pump is that? The pump I got on that is 750. 750. It okay. does decent, but it, that pump is actually a little fruity <laughs> so it doesn't really run all that great but well mm. it's let's see let me just kind of pick this up here well yeah it's pretty lightweight so yeah. it's, it's definitely good for taking it in the back country yeah huh Even with the pump messed up it'll still oh. catch it still caught see if we can get a little bit of that in here Yep. See, that's the gold it's catching. Yeah. Yeah, that's the very first design. And that's just coming out here, just digging up some, just digging up some material, huh? I just took three little, three scoops and classified it down real quick and ran it through it. Yeah. Well, that's a nice little box. And uh, I'll still I still got to work on this one a little bit, but the second design that I've got going on, I'm almost done what's, with. What's going to be your changes on this one? Other than um, the expanded raised expanded metal, probably going to change out the brackets here. Mm -hmm. um, I got to change this out because I actually had some shorter brackets like this back here, and I wanted to do away with it, which I did. Mm -hmm. I made the changes on the second version and the other version and got rid of them. Right. So now I got to go back in and redo them on this one. And then the first, the one that I will be coming out with once I get ready to start selling them is just two boxes that set like that. And they're both six inches wide, 18 inches long. Um, and then once I get this one redone, it'll be the, just what you see with very subtle changes. What is a, what's the material that the boxes are made out of? This is a PLA plastic. Okay. It's 3D printed. Okay. Um, a lot of hours in the print time. And then, <laughs> I bet. But it's just for making the mold. Um, once I get the final design done, like I'm doing with the one that I'm going to be releasing for sale, is I'm finishing the mold, doing the molds themselves, and then I'll, the final product will be made out of uh, plastic urethane, urethane plastic. Um, and this one will be as well. Okay. Which is the process that I'm using. Um, staying away from the... Ten to twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> mold for making ABS injections. 
It's all, um, all designed and all done by myself, so my own ideas. Okay, well when when you get this completed, what do you think your 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 selling price is going to be for those? I'm trying to keep them under 150. And that's what I my ultimate goal is to give the buyer complete control on what they want. Matting why, you know, the main design of the box You'll have your different options, your different choices between what match you want to put in it, what pump. Oh, just you go in and you say, okay, I want all this, and then that's what will come to you. Um, if you want to just buy the box bare by itself and put your own stuff in, you can do that. You'll be able to do that as well. Okay, so but you will sell the, the mat. You will sell the matting with it, though. Yep. Okay. Yep. With this one, this like I said, this is just some uh, testing different mats that I found. Um, the rug and the piece on top. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have some. I'm hoping to be able to get some. Like I know a lot of people like the Gold Hog. I know some people like the Dream mats. The box, the six by eighteen box that I'm making now actually will fit these uh, six inch wide by 18 inch long dream mat okay. uh, mm -hmm. so I'll have those offered up you know it'll ready go ready to go that's the ultimate goal and I've got picked up a little backpack a little hiking backpack this will fit in there the 18 inch one that I'm building will fit in there and that was what I'm shooting for. Okay. For people that, you know, you get those areas that you can't really get to to get the big equipment in, but you need something or you want something that's going to be able to run a mm -hmm. good amount of material. And that's where my ideas come up with this stuff. It's okay. Super compact, but yet it'll run a lot of, a lot of material and catch the gold. Well, I know you said your pump is kind of flaky but can we see it run? Yeah. Mm. Put it back together you just want me to fire it up? Oh no, yeah, go ahead and put it back together, it's fine. Let me just... Extremely quiet too. So yeah, if you took a battery with you and then took a like a small solar solar charger with you, yep, yep, that'd work out well. And these batteries, this is actually two batteries that I have taped together. Uh, mm, okay. And they're uh, I think nine nine amp hours on these. Um. Mm. Kind of hear the faulty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear it. That's the pump being screwy. Just, you know, say, just keep a little grab bit of a little, mm -hmm. a little scoop here. And... It's not quite level, it's all on its side, but yeah, that's okay though. I'm actually looking into uh, getting a different 
probably an 800 800 gallon per hour pump this one's a 750 well i wonder because um, i'm kind of looking at that the bottom exchanges but not quite enough that's what i'm thinking i'm thinking you probably need a little bit bigger pump <clears throat> because it doesn't look like it's exchanging no, like pretty fast so this one it actually runs a little bit harder um because it's not doing a lot up top mm -hmm. like it usually does when that pump's actually running but i'm looking into 800 gallons I don't or know. even going to 1100 that's what i was gonna say i would think I think um, you would try 1100 and you get yourself, make sure, because you, you got a valve on it, you can control the flow, so I would go my, that route first. My only problem with the 1100 right now is being able to find the fitting that has an inch and an eighth uh, rib on the one side mm. and three quarters threading on the other. I have searched high and low. If anybody else out there knows, let me know. Oh, because I haven't found it. I found one setup that was like a quick connect, but it was pretty, pretty big, and I didn't really care for it. Mm -hmm. you know, I wanted to keep it somewhat small. If I have to, I may go and design my own fitting for it. That'll have the head, the inch and an eighth barb on the one end and be able to thread into that, and then that'll end up being the yeah. ready printed and molded into the urethane plastic as well. <clears throat> Something else I've been debating on doing, but okay, okay. So last thing, what are you gonna name it? The name is still up in the air. Um, That's a funny name for it. Still up in the air. <laughs> I haven't really came up with a name yet for them. I'm still playing around with those. Uh, okay. People want to start. People want to throw up some names. I might do. I might do a little. Somebody comes up with a good name and I like it. And that's what I go with. I was thinking about that the other day. I might do a. Come up with a name, and I end up naming that. You might get a free unit. Mm. Um, are, are they going to stay green? Is it is it just going to stay the color green? No, no. That is another part of the option choices. Um, I will be able to. I'm not sure how many different colors I'll have, but I do plan on doing different colors, um, and that's going to all be part of the ordering. You choose what you want, if you want it red, yellow, pink, whatever. Um, and that's, that's all stuff that'll be in the ordering process. And this one's just painted green because most rock is probably green. All right, well that's a good little device. So, you've seen it. This is the first, this is the new system that's coming out. Uh, I'll let you know whenever he gets it up online and ready to sell. Look at you, like you're just ready to go now. Like you're about ready to go. Still too cold. Well, it is that, but I'm going to get out there too myself in just a little bit. As much as I'm going to hate to. Well, as you can see, people are out. Die Hard Prospectors, we're all going to get out here and give it a shot. Even though it's a little on the nippy side. This is our little graveyard. This is where we bury misbehaving prospectors.
They're setting up the equipment for the common dig. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> As you can see, we got the hard tenors back here. So for those people who think we're crazy because it's like 38 degrees and we're out here prospecting, well, we are. That's just what, it's just what we do as prospectors. Setting up the common dig operation right now. As you can see, there, there are people out here. Now I'm working on the next bar up, so. Is this something new? Uh, I got the, I put some of that green mat in it. That okay. riffle that comes with the uh -huh. button clear out fast enough. Usually the, the, the riffle mat that came with it. I'd always see black sand on top of my pile. None. It's catching it all. Well, you don't care about black sand. You, you mining for black sand? Huh? You mining for black sand? No, but if I'm blowing black sand out, I might go and go out. But you test that and, but to make sure, okay. but I don't think so. But this clears a lot quicker than that green riffle that comes with this thing. That mm -hmm. Right. So, and I called Prospector's Dream to wait until I should get the full size of the mini, and they said because this was a lower flow, mm -hmm. I get the mini. So, it's doing it about as fast as I can shovel it in. So, to see to me now, to me it seems like the way those rocks are clogged up in there, that that's not quite running right. Now it's just me. I may be wrong, but I might try and tilt it more and get some more flow on the water. Yeah, it's uh, it's because I don't think it should hold those rocks. Like this one? Yeah, it shouldn't hold those rocks. I'm gonna tilt it. I'm gonna clean up after this one. I'm gonna tilt it more in the next run. Now, mind you, I am not a dream mat expert at all. So, but I would think that it wouldn't. That, you know, that it shouldn't hold those rocks. I'm just happy that it's clear and faster than that ripple. My banjo playing is faster than that. <laughs> we'll see. Yep. That's the whole point. The experiment. Oh, I'm not gonna be a hobby if I can't constantly spend money on it. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I wouldn't know what to do not to spend money? I would think I was cheating myself. I didn't just try and put some time this afternoon. I still can't make that gold claw work. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we just need to link. We didn't get to link up the last time. Um, I got it, but... Yeah, we just need to link up. Maybe we'll come down, like, at the, in the evening or something, and then we can just kind of go through it. Yeah, well, yeah, it's it's because it becomes easier if you if you've never done a, a regular pan because the motion is different. So you have yeah, so you have to relearn the motion if you've used a regular pan. Yeah, it is not like that at all. We got a few more intrepid prospectors. I saw that. What's the right? Uh, tape measure? You, you have a set? I don't have a tape measure. But don't worry about locking it. You're right there. What was it, six inches? Oh, Maybe up inches. to the top? An inch per foot, so I'd have to drop at least a foot. Yeah, it's got the old one there, that's all I got. It's an iPhone. I thought he had a couple of new ones bought, but... Did you 
get all that on there. I'm heading down to where I'm gonna dredge it. Finally, finally drug my butt out of here. Then. You dug half the bank away. Huh? Hey, that means I don't have anything hey, then. Huh? Hey, how you doing? What's going on? I just going to keep going. Yeah, that's what you told right? Right. Yeah. Us who were talking, you the guy I talked to yesterday. To you. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I know you said you were going to get the, get a cube, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's all a great choice in first equipment, man. It is. The route I should have went. Got to go with you before anything. Right? Yeah. And you know what? I have one of those things in, at home. Mm -hmm. yeah, used it once. He's going to use it now here. <laughs> yeah. Once he upgrades to a dredge like yours, he's right. still going to use it at yep. well, run the cones. You know? yep. I mean, it's good investment. Huge. Yeah, huge key. This is a good, this is a good of piece of equipment. equipment. Yeah. That's, that's a really good piece of equipment. Yep. I agree. So I was telling him, man, he made a really good first choice. Mm -hmm. you know? Did not go wrong on that. But yeah, it's good. I'm glad you made it. I know I wasn't for sure if you were gonna make it yesterday yeah. when you were calling me. I was trying to, but I figured I'd go back over to Lafayette and get some more equipment. Yeah. Make sure I had everything I needed. Yeah. And uh, it's just a matter of finding a place this, this morning. What? That's probably pretty good. I should be getting one of those. Those air bubbles should be pretty gone. Prep it once and it's good, man. Mm-hmm. He's got a three stack. Okay. Where she goes? Yeah. So you... Yep. Because really, that's the only thing you have to do is level that side to side. Other than that, yep. that's all. Stack it up. Mm-hmm. Wire it up and see. Good to go. Nice. Well, good luck, man. All right. Yep. Thank Have you. at it. Appreciate it. Dig at it, man. Get you some gold. You try to. <laughs> Alright, let me get in here at least get a few hours out here before I have to get started, get back up there. It's about 1 o'clock. So I had a hell of a time dragging myself to get myself down here. Oh, those other guys didn't even come back, huh? They, there were some other people down on the point yesterday. In there. There no, it doesn't work that way. Believe me, I would love for it to work that way. Now it's too late. Yeah, but he was, but he just did one about his with his equipment, right? He was, was he talking on it though? Oh, I thought so.
Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! I guess. Did it hit somebody's car? What did it hit? Did it hit? Did it hit his car? Uh, I don't know if it hit his car. I know it hit over here somewhere. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, I got a little bit on the side of it. Yeah, you got a little bit of... You got a dent? No, I don't think it's a dent. That's a dent right here. No, that's no. not. Yeah, that's no, no, no. just the way it's made. I think okay, it... That's... I think it just right. exploded before, I think. Yeah, it did. I mean, it just... It, it was close. <laughs> Woo! That been bitch if it went through what the window. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. It fell over, and when I saw it fall over, I was like, oh, crap, where is it going to go? <laughs> well, as you can see, we still have some diehard, intrepid people at the common dig trough, so they're getting their last bit of gold in for the day. This is Sunday, so... We're all working, finishing up. It has been a pretty good weekend. Um, it rained a little bit, but it also got a lot of people some decent gold. Not me, my experiment failed, so I've gotta go home and rearrange some things and hopefully I haven't imp damaged my motor and get it all fixed up. So I still wait make another trip out sometime this year before it gets too cold. So so till next time guys, we'll talk to you later. Well, I've made it home. We had our final outing for the year. It was a great time and this has been a great year even though the weather hasn't always cooperated with us. So uh I want to thank all the new people who showed up this year. Um, I hope you come back next year. Uh, we had some really good sized outings this year, so um, I would like to see you all continue to come back and encourage new people to come join us next year. Uh, we'll start outings again in March, uh, but if you follow us on Facebook, Indiana Gold Prospectors, uh, we have a few events planned in between now and um, and March. March is outing, so we'll have a cons party. We'll have um, you know the gold show here is coming up here this week actually. Um, I'm sorry, in the next two weeks, not this week. But um, so it, it, it's been a good year. Um, hope to see a lot of you next year and if not then I hope all things go well for you so until next time I'll see you out there <laughs>